Hello, this is Greg Zelfin from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you um, and talk to you about SharePoint homepage. Now, I'm not talking about the homepage that you see on the screen right now. Uh, this would be uh, an internet landing page, I guess, uh, for your company internet. I'm talking about the SharePoint homepage that is created for you. Uh, let me explain. So first of all, uh, you know, let me first show you what I'm talking about. Uh, you can access the SharePoint homepage um, a few different ways. You can either click on the SharePoint, um, you know, uh, SharePoint name right here, or you can go to the app launcher and click on SharePoint. It goes to the same exact place. Uh, I'm going to, so I'm just going to click on it. Uh, I'm actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to open another, uh, this screen page in another tab uh, just so that we uh, can go back and forth easily uh, but once you click on SharePoint uh, this is what where, where you end up and this is the SharePoint homepage I have been talking about so um, let me explain to you what this is all about first and why you might want to use um, this homepage uh, and you know and how you can use it so um, this is not the site this is not a page that I build, this is not a site or page that you will build or anyone in your organization will build. This page is built for you automatically. Uh, essentially, it's just a core component of uh, SharePoint Online uh, and Office 365. Uh, I call this page, when I describe it to you know my clients during training sessions, I, I call this page Facebook for SharePoint sites. Uh, and um, you know how on Facebook you can uh, you can follow people and companies, and then depending on whom you follow, you you will see the different activities uh, in your Facebook feed. Well, same concept here, except um, of you know cute pictures of uh, cats and you know and what your colleagues ate for breakfast. Uh, you see the activities that's happening on the SharePoint sites. So uh, this page will be different for all of us. So this page is not the same. Uh, it will really differ uh, depending on who is logged in. Uh, and what it shows you, it shows you a number of things. It actually has several different areas. Let me explain them to you. So first of all, uh, you know, the, the first component that you see right here is uh, essentially all the news from different sites. So um, essentially what when you when each of your sites, you know, uh, have news a web part, um, any news that you publish, to different sites, they're all automatically aggregated for you over here. So uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So you see I have my internet uh, landing page with some company announcements, right? And then, you know, some of my sites have the same news module as well. So uh, all this news are aggregated in one place right here. So once again, this is, uh, this is something that's just done for you automatically. And all the news are rolled up for you uh, automatically from different sites in your uh, environment all right and by the way you can actually um, you can actually save let's say you know you 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 have you, re you have a, you read an announcement over here you want to save it for later you can actually uh, bookmark it and save it for later as you do that uh, they've been saved as a bookmark uh, on the left hand side all right so news is um, something that um, that is a core component, I guess, of this SharePoint homepage. Um, majority, majority of elements that you see here are related to the sites and site activities. Um, so on the left, you can see it shows me the sites I'm following, then the sites I visited frequently, and then I think, yeah, uh, also on the screen over here, it also um, you know, give me some, gives me some suggestions as well. All right. Um, so this is just another way for me to access all the different sites. Um, obviously, option number one, right, assumes that someone in your organization has built out an internet with a, you know, some sort of logical navigation. And this could be um, obviously one of the best way for you to access all the different sites and you know department and project sites that you have in your environment however uh there is also an alternative way and that would be through the sharepoint uh home uh right i'm sure you have your favorite sites uh that you follow 
um, you know, as, as you follow the sites, they all appear over here. And by the way, let me explain how do you follow a site. Very easy. Uh, you see in the upper right -hand corner of each site, you will see this uh, little star. And uh, by default, right, you obviously will not be following. And, you know, when you click follow, you pretty much tell SharePoint, that's a bookmark, that's my favorite site. And when you follow a site, uh, they would all appear uh, on the following section over here. All right. Um, and on the recent sites, obviously, that's my recent activity. You see, I just visited uh, the sales site. So it shows up over here on the left. So it's almost like Facebook, right? You follow people, you follow companies. Uh, and um, and the more you use SharePoint, the more activity you will, you will see in here. By the way, when you just start using SharePoint, the screen will pretty much be blank. Uh, right, the more you use SharePoint, uh, the more you know, the more and the more sites you follow, obviously, the more busy I guess the screen will be. And this is just a great way for you to access you know the sites that you access on a regular uh, basis, uh, and um, instead of maybe going through uh, through navigation, right? Because who knows, maybe you do have the, the global navigation. Um, built out through hub sites, uh, or maybe you don't. In case if you don't, uh, this is another great way for you to access uh, those sites. And for every single, as you can see, for every little, uh, you know, tile on each site, you can kind of see uh, it's almost like a mini card with some activity. So, for example, on the sales site, um, you know, you can see, you know, who modified the budget document or, you know, who pretty much, you know, you can see some activity happening uh, on each and every site. So that's very, very convenient. Let me now talk about some of the other areas of this uh, page. So on the bottom left hand corner, so this is kind of the only area that you can customize. Uh, and actually, not you, <laughs> I'm, I'm a spoke here. Uh, it's an area that UIT administrator, someone with global, you know, SharePoint admin privileges can can customize. But this is the only area where you can uh, you can kind of uh, you can bookmark uh, the links and you know embed and add, add additional you know links that would be visible by everyone. So while everything else that you see on the site is uh, is pretty much depends on your behavior, right? It depends on your activities in SharePoint. Uh, this is the area that uh, UIT team uh, has control over. So for example, if, if I have a landing page, right, that I want to uh, use my users to visit uh, and, uh, and have a bookmark to, you can actually edit right here. That's pretty straightforward, okay? So that's the only area that you can uh, modify. Uh, another area of this page is, you know, is uh, is this right here on the top. Uh, you can actually create new sites and create um, news right from this page as well. And, you know, this works just like, um, right, you can create new sites, new Office 365 group sites to be exact from your Outlook. So this is pretty much the same behavior, except over here you have a little bit more, uh, I guess, another option you can also create a communication site in addition to a team site, all right? So that's another area uh, that is available um, from the SharePoint homepage. Uh, one last and very, very important part of this uh, homepage, and actually my favorite, uh, is this little search box in the upper left-hand corner. It's very easy to miss it, but this search box is extremely powerful. This search box searches the whole SharePoint and your personal OneDrive. So if I'm looking for something, right? Uh, I mean, look, if I'm, let's say, on your on my internet and I'm looking for something um, for a particular document, look, my best bet will be to navigate to the specific site, like a sales department site, for example, and then maybe uh, search for something on this site, uh, right? For a document or something or another piece of content uh, I'm searching on this site. But what if I have no idea where the stuff resides? I know it's somewhere. I'm looking for a particular budget document or a policy or just an, any other document. I have no idea where it is. Uh, maybe on a, it's on sales site. Maybe it's on a project site. Uh, you know, maybe it's on some Office 365 group site. I have no idea. Well, in this case, you might want to use this search box. Once again, it's a very, very powerful search box. Essentially, it searches everything. Your whole you know, tenant, if you will, all of the site collections, all of the subsites, and your OneDrive, all right? 
Uh, and the way you know the way it works, it's pretty straightforward. You just click on it and look at this. Uh, this is what I like about it. Uh, even before you type anything in, you all already have some suggestions, right? So as you can see, it, it shows me the sites I visit frequently. Uh, it shows me some of the files I have been working on lately. Uh, and it shows you when I uh, was working on them. And it also presents me with some news, right? But, you know, if in case this is not what I was looking for, I'm looking for a budget document. Uh, look at this. Uh, I, I'm typing something in. And um, just like in Google, as you remember, if you type something into Google search, as you type, you have some results presented for you. Here we go. I already have a few results presented for me. And it shows me the the uh, the document as well as the it tells me as you can see right below the file name it shows me the uh, the uh, site that it found it on so in this case it found a document on the sales site and and some of the project sites and if I want to you know see more results uh, just like in Google right uh, as you can see here I can see Google style results uh, right here uh, right here on the uh, on this page on this page now and look at this remember how I said that uh, it also searches it's also searches my personal OneDrive look at this uh, it, it actually sh tells me where the budget document is from in this case it found it on this site uh, it found the budget document on my OneDrive uh, and then it tell it just tells me where it found the the all the other documents uh, that fit this particular uh, keywords search all right this particular keyword string and the way, by the way, this search, all right, this is a modern search. I blogged about it, uh, um, and I have written a number of posts on my blog about this. Uh, this search, um, you know, you know, essentially, it's a, we call it intelligent search or personalized search. Once again, the search results will not be the same uh, for any two people because it's obviously based on security. It's also based on your activity in in SharePoint. If you happen to visit the same you know, site, click on the same document five times a day, uh, the, the SharePoint search, you know, kind of learns that this is probably your favorite, you know, document and it uh, will promote this result and it will be on top, um, on top of all the other results. Uh, but this search box is amazing because, uh, once again, the bottom line, you will find it, right? You might end up with lots and lots of results, of course, right, as you type your, uh, your, um, your, um, you know, keywords in, right? Just like in Google, you might end up with lots and lots of, you know, pages uh, worth of results, but the bottom line, you will find the document you are looking for. And, uh, and because it's this search, such as ever, everywhere, uh, all the SharePoint sites, as well as your personal OneDrive. So um, this is pretty much what the SharePoint homepage is, is all about. A lot of users expect uh, you know, one of the questions I always get: Well, can we change the URL? Uh, you know, you know, of this. If, if I, if people click on SharePoint, you know, can it go to some, you know, <clears throat> other URL like an internet landing page or something? Uh, and unfortunately, the answer is no. Um, this is not something you can alter. Every time you click on SharePoint, um, you know, link over here, the SharePoint name over here, you do end up uh, on this page. Uh, but once again, this is a very nice, in my opinion, this is a very, very powerful addition, very powerful, you know, feature that allows you to uh, do a number of things. You, you, just like I described, it allows you to create additional, uh, if, uh, you know, you, you can obviously create additional sites. You can obviously um, link or visit, um, you know, the sites you are working on on a regular basis. Uh, and, and not to mention, you can also execute some very, you know, pretty much global searches in your uh, SharePoint internet. All right. So hopefully you learned something new today and uh, I appreciate your time and attention and looking forward to see you again on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube video channel. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a great day. Bye-bye.